What's up, groovy guys, groovy girls? This is Rick Reed, and I'm here to tell you about these box sets. Why am I telling you about these box sets? Well, because, first of all, they're Bugs Bunny, and they're awesome, right? Yeah, I had bought this uh, Looney Tunes box set. It's the Golden Collection, Volume 1 through 6. And I had originally already had the first volume when they were available, available separately, and the uh, I wanted the rest, and since they were kind of getting more and more expensive and going out of print, just the first set alone I think is sixty bucks online. Um, I was like, shit, I better get those other ones, uh, and so I found this set pretty cheap uh, for like fifty eight bucks. Now, um, the only problem with them is they're phony. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it because it looks pretty close, but this is a phony bootleg set. Now, the way I noticed this is, uh, first of all, I, I'm making this video because I, when I had purchased a Dark Shadows box set not so long ago, a couple years ago maybe, it was very helpful seeing a video like this online that showed me, you know, uh, pointed me in the right direction on what was a real set and what was a phony set because even the big coffin sets of Dark Shadows there's motherfuckers out there, and they're printing those up at home and making them, and they look pretty legit. Um, so I figured I'd make this just in case it helps anybody else. So when you get down to business here, it, it's a pretty good set there, uh, the bootleg. It looks like it, but as I was watching it, I noticed that the menus, that when they go zip into some animation of the titling or whatever around the menu... You know, uh, telling you what cartoons and whatnot, things would get a little pixelated, which isn't normally what happens there. Also, while watching special features, um, you know, sometimes when 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 you're compressing a disc or or you know making a a burn of something, the the features like the cartoons or a movie or the main thing on the disc, they want to look as good as possible. So the special features during the compression, those are what get. You know, they, they, they get kind of singled out to kind of like, if you're going to have something look shitty, or at least a little worse, then that's what they want. Because not everyone watches the special features. But I do. And all of a sudden, Chuck, Chuck Jones and Mel Blank and Frizz Freeling, they had big blocks over their fucking face. And I was like, what the fuck? Every once in a while, we just go real pixelated. So, I started, I, I went and got my original box set out that I had already had and looked at the discs and did a comparison and sure enough they looked a little phony and i'll get to the disc part in a minute but as far as the front it's not that easy to spot because it's pretty good although the bootleg actually has a little bit deeper color but it looks a little cheaper it looks a little uh, just a little more uh, uh not blurry but it just doesn't look as as crisp and defined as this one where it just the line is the lines are very very defined um, when you look at the back, even, they are even close. I mean, even the, the, let me get in focus here. Even the barcodes are pretty close right down to it. Uh, the one thing I did notice when I compared the two together is if you look at the bottom, um, the printing here is spaced out. Uh, the one on the real set on your right, you can see where it's spaced, spaced out. And there's uh, just some, it just looks better. Um, over here, they were like, shit, we're running out of space, and they just kind of slapped it down there. Another thing that's really weird is if you look, over here says 356 classic theatrical shorts, uncut and remastered. Over here says 375 classic theatrical shorts. Well, which is it, young feller? And because it's, everything else is the same, but it boggles my mind sometimes that when the, the, these dudes make this kind of stuff like this and they'll get everything so exact but they'll fuck up one major detail or misspell a word and it's like what come on um what i mean what's the point of even i mean if you're just copying you know what's the point of do they, do they change the fucking number like uh, like they're the guys who want to get caught. I'm going to give one clue to my master crime so someone can catch it. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, uh, let's go to the discs. When you take out the first set, let's just compare the first set here. Another indicator is if you see that plastic, 
see how it's kind of it's hard, it's hard to see because it's shimmering but it's it's really kind of ruffled at the edges there kind of like a cheaper case um that's because it is and it's 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 not easy to notice but you'll kind of feel it you'll feel it just kind of like loose it's just a little you know bunched up and loose there um, which is an indicator of, you know, discs that you bought, like, 75 of them for, like, two bucks on Amazon or something like that, cases. Um, but you go into the real one. Let's get this out. And it doesn't really have that. It's actually very, very nice and flush. There's a little bit of ruffle there, but not, it's not, it doesn't feel loose at all, like, like the other plastic on it. Um, sorry if this is going out of focus. Um, so that's an indicator. Plus, if you open up the real one and you look at, these, these look really vibrant. The discs are printed very uh, vibrant. Uh, vibrant's the word today, folks. Um, and when you go into the bootleg bullshit version, they're still, they still look nice, but there is just a slight dingy quality to them that just doesn't quite look as, what's the word? Vibrant. Now, another indicator is if you look at the very top here of the hinge, it's, oh, stay open, damn it. Um, it's like a full, see how the plastic goes, oh, damn it. Plastic goes all the way up there, you know, to the hinge. You can see, I'm on this side, now I'm on this side. See, that's, that's a big hinge of plastic right there. Now, the original version is just a little more streamlined. I mean, it actually... Let's do this again. It actually dips down all the way with your finger. It goes all the way down there and then goes up to the hinge right there. And that's usually a giveaway on a lot of bootleg stuff because even in the um, the Dark Shadows uh, box set, there was a difference because of the, the hinge and the plastic, um, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call them, uh, doors or... <laughs> disc holding doors i don't know whatever they are they're different okay so anyway hope this helps anybody out there uh if you get the looney tunes box set look sharp especially if you get it used um you know hey a lot of people sell used shit and it's fine like 95 percent of the time and i buy a lot of fucking shit okay uh not proud of it but i'm kind of a movie hoarder but is the first time i've actually gotten duped and so it doesn't happen that often, but just keep your eyes peeled, folks. All right. Later. Bye.